of mosaic tile is often found in churches or art installations, but you could bring these works of art with tile into your own home as well. I'm Ray Corral, the founder of Mosaic Sustain, one of the few companies in the world that designs, manufactures, and also installs mosaic projects throughout the world. We check out some incredible aquatic art and some other ways to enhance the beauty of your home with mosaic on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project, I'm Elena Capra. Today we're going to take a look at the artistry that goes into creating beautiful mosaic murals and works of art. It's all about using tiny pieces of natural materials such as glass to create dramatic design features. Today we'll look at the creation and installation process of an underwater work of art, ways to enhance your backyard with an aquatic theme mosaic the design versatility of small tile, and so much more. We're here today in Coral Gables, joined by Ray Corral, the founder of Mosaicist Inc. Ray, welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Thank you for having me here. So we are excited to talk with you, first of all, because of your extensive background with mosaics and tile and all of its beauty. I wanted to get a little bit of background about how you got into the tile business. I started as an artist at the beginning, then the business actually evolved as we went along. What sets us aside from everybody else in this industry is the fact that we also do design work, we also do manufacturing, and we also provide installation of our own products. It truly is a niche, and it sounds like it makes almost a turnkey experience when somebody wants to add beautiful mosaic art to their pool or beyond. Yeah, we specialize mostly in swimming pools. The thing is the pools is a very big niche in the industry. Especially here in South Florida. Yeah. And I'm sure you install all over, or is you, do you stick to this area most? That's a great question, because a lot of people think that just because we're out of Miami, uh, they think that we only work in Miami or in the South Florida area. We've done work all over the place. So we have uh, in the most unique, most remote places on the Caribbean, and we're invited to uh, do architectural artwork all over the place, all over the world. How do you get your inspiration when you're either working with clients or creating for clients with patterns and design? Mm -hmm. A lot of times the mosaics have gotten the idea that it has to be like Versace-esque or a lot of the, the swirls or the actual Victorian that what you see quite at- quite modern as well, uh -huh. right? But we've done homes that are all like cubic or cubism. And in those cases, we've actually gotten the shapes of the home and the shapes of the pool. And we've done what's called the cosmati, which is a geometrical repetitive pattern to go ahead and have the synergy to tie in together with a modern house. We usually work around the actual swimming pool design the shape of the swimming pool. So you'll start with sort of the dimensions mm -hmm. of the pool, maybe a floor uh, layout of that. Th that's right, and then we start working for inspiration on the actual home itself. This particular home is a historical uh, 1926 home. It has a relief in the front of the elevation, and we use that as inspiration for this pool right here, and it came together like a glove. Absolutely, and I love that you're taking inspiration from the architecture. I mean, what a great way to sort of honor a historic home and just bring that into mosaic art. So let's talk about the process. You talked about it starts from a sketch and then the tile is obviously manufactured once you pick all your colors. We do this by actually drawing the design by hand. We actually put it in a computer program and that scales it for us in proportion. Right. And therefore we go ahead and print it in craft paper. It gets done piece by piece, but at our studios. Right. Okay. And so then they're brought here. To mm -hmm. install. They're, they're, they're brought here. They, these sheets are, uh, have the design already printed on them. And then our artists go ahead and cut the pieces, glue them on with water soluble glue. Then they get transported, cut into jigsaw pieces, packed into boxes, transported to the job site. Therefore, and then my installers, which are also artists, they go ahead and they start installing it by flipping it like a pancake and taking the paper off. And that's how we transfer the work from the studio onto the job site, which is very unique. That's great. So we got a, a little bit of a hint here of a beautiful pool, but we're gonna continue on and talk more about all of the capabilities of designing with Mosaic in a residential setting. Yeah. When we come back. Let's do it. Coming up, we take a look at how small detail is used to create works of art on Zoplo Home Project. 
So you finally decided to upgrade your windows and your doors? Today we're going to talk about what to expect on installation day on SoFlow Home Project. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we are here with Ray Corral, the founder of Mosaicist Inc. Yeah. Ray, you've got the best part here, all of the color samples. I feel like this is probably just one of the most interesting parts of the design with Mosaic, mm -hmm. is picking the colors. That's right. So can we take a seat and kind of go through all of yeah, this sure. good stuff with the samples? So, what we have here is we have basically, just for the show, I brought out all the master colors that we actually use as a master board, as a reference to actually manufacture our colors. And here you have about 350 colors. This is wow. called small tea. So what, I, let's talk real quick for our viewers at home. <laughs> we'll get a little tile vocab, small tea. What type of uh, glass material? Small tea or small tea, it's an Italian origin word, which is a small tile that's all hand cut. It's a very old world material. If you travel, let's say, to Italy or to uh, other countries. You've probably seen it there. Uh, yeah, you'll probably see it there in churches and, and on floors and stuff like this. So based out of these colors is how we actually make them in manufactured squares. And so what you see right here, which is called Venetian glass. The backgrounds of most of our pools are the Venetian glass, which is what you see in this pool. Or on really high-end projects, we brought the in just the small team. So you have an option mm -hmm. based on the, and also the level of detail. I can imagine that when something is very intricate, you might be going with the smaller pieces and then for the background is the larger. That or when we need actually a lot more of a color palette or more hues to make the design, we'll come and we'll make them out of small team. And in small team, we make over a thousand colors. Wow. To me as a designer, the, the most fun part is getting that like specific, those colors picked out. And with pools, you had mentioned earlier that we're mostly going to be going into the blues and, and that sort of family. Most of my work is 80% is pools. And when we do pools, uh, people usually think blues or greens. Yes. Uh, you want that then, water to so, look fresh. This dark marine color blue seems like to be the hottest thing right now yeah. in the past five years is something we have a color called sea marine out of Murano series and just it's it's everyone's go-to so it's one of your most um, popular yeah. so and that's the pool, the, that darker blue yeah be, and specifically when a pool has a design we want to make sure that it pops and it has a lot of contrast so you see your investment you get to enjoy it from when you see it from outside the home no that's a great tip so if someone's thinking about that you're always going to maybe go darker pop it with the colors and then the other way too if it, if they want a lighter color pool you know then we go ahead and do the designs in a darker color obviously to make the contrast and one other thing i want to tell you is that a lot of people think well why you want to put uh, designs in a pool you know pools are for swimming the majority of people that have pools they enjoy them when they look at them and these are basically architectural pieces of art they really we are we talk about art could be anywhere in the home it could also be outside the home and in your pool with this gorgeous mosaic yeah. now we are going to continue talking about other ways to bring tile into the home but before we do that we're going to check in with our friends from fhia and see what they're up to today Hi, I'm Valentina with FHIA Remodeling, and we're here at the FHIA Warehouse, and we're gonna to talk today about what you can expect during installation day for your new upgraded windows. This is an amazing place. Look how big this place is. Peter, tell me, what's all in here, and what do you guys keep in this warehouse? Well, we have 110,000 square feet of all of our windows, doors, kitchens, baths, roofing materials, um, everything that we need to uh, do our installations. Installations, let's talk installations. How important is installations when it comes to windows? Um, when it comes to windows, um, you could have the thickest glass in the world. If it's not installed properly, that's a big problem. Installation is one of the most important aspects of this entire project for most homeowners down in South Florida. So, so what can homeowners expect on installation day? Well, on installation day, uh, we're gonna have our factory certified installers show up to the house between nine and 10 o'clock to get the ball rolling. Uh, again, very mindful of it's your home and not a construction site. And uh, we're gonna work on a section at a time. And that being said, you know, we actually have um, zip walls that we put up um, over the windows to make sure no dust and debris will be able to enter the home. And, yes, because um, construction and all that things can be very messy. It, it can be, it can be, you know, it can be a, uh, a painful process that we try to make as painless as possible. I like that. So, yeah. So um, the majority of the work is, uh, you know, done from outside in, and that's why we put the zip wall up. And how long does it take, approximately, the installation? Um, depending upon the size of the project, typically about two to three days. So I don't really need to move out then? No need to move out. We're very mindful of this is your home, not a construction site. Um, we work on sections at a time and go from there. So it seems that installation day is not as bad as I thought it would be. It's not going to be that bad. It'll be a breeze. You won't even know we're there. 
don't worry about it. I love it. <laughs> so if you're thinking of upgrading or installing new windows, call FHIA Remodeling today and get your free quote. So I guess we talked about color and we also talked about the size of the tile, but the sort of the finish of it is whether it's over here, I'm seeing some more matte, beautiful finish. We've got some with iridescents. Um, what are some of the different options and, and what makes them each special? What we do as a manufacturing company, we don't only make uh, one specific glass. We actually try to introduce a lot of finishes such Something as iridescence. Uh -huh. yeah. Iridescence are really big in the industry. We have here a Splendor series, which has a glitter type of glitter copper effect that so runs pretty. through the glass. That's also been around it's for like a while. It's like a gemstone, yep. Yeah, yeah. And it has longevity. These yeah, things yeah. are the classics. Yeah, like 100%. This is a, a watermark series that basically has a, a relief in the bottom of the tile that shimmers. Gives also it that with depth. the water. Mm -hmm. We also have newer iridescents that are coming out, such as this one, which is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love this is, that. This has the not been seen so till now. Ah, first time. Look first at this. time, believe exclusive. it or not. We just literally got the samples and the this master samples made. beautiful. And yeah. the coloration and just the way it almost, it has this beautiful metallic type yeah. of feel. Lots of depth. Color is beautiful. Finish is gorgeous. The design possibilities really are endless. Yeah, right? yeah it's endless. Coming up next, we show you the versatility of mosaic tile to create beautiful flooring on SoFlo Home Project. It's summertime here in South Florida, which means our air conditioning systems are working extra hard to keep us cool. And we're here today with Elizabeth from Jackrabbit Air Conditioning to find out a little bit more about the questions you should be asking and the things you should be thinking about when it's time to replace your AC. Elizabeth, so we have something behind this door that I really want to show our viewers because I've got a sneak peek and I know it's quite incredible. So why don't we open up and show them what's here. Look at how pristine this is, first of all. <laughs> this is not a tip, but I mean, what a beautiful HVAC closet, first of all. Yes, thank you. This is how Jackrabbit AC does their installations. So we take pride in the installations that we do. So Elizabeth, with Jackrabbit Air Conditioning, you guys really have a set of standards that yes. you follow that ensures proper installation. Yes, so every installer that we hire has to go through the training process of following our manual. The installers need to follow this standard in every installation that we do. So at Jackrabbit Air Conditioning, you guys can mitigate pretty much any situation, but it really all starts, like you said, with day one with that proper yes. installation. Hiring the right contractor, if it's us or if it's someone else, is extremely important to know who is coming into your home. Are they licensed? Are they insured? A lot of homeowners don't know that if the contractor is coming in your home, is not licensed, is not insured, something happens, God forbid, you, the homeowner, are liable for it. And that is something that none of us want. No. Now let's talk about proper maintenance. What are the key things that homeowners should do and do you offer that service as well? Yes, actually with our installations, depending on the package that you choose, we provide you with either between one year up to five years of maintenance with the package that you choose. So Elizabeth, most importantly, how do homeowners contact Jack Rapid Air Conditioning if they're thinking about setting up a free estimate or just want some more information about potentially purchasing a new system? Sure, they can definitely give us a call. That's number one. We, we always have somebody on the phone ready to help. They can also go online through our website and they can fill out the contact form. So I want to thank you for spending some time with us today and educating us on all of the things we should think about when potentially replacing an air conditioning unit. Thank you for having me. I appreciate all your time too. Thank you. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are here talking about all things Mosaic with founder of Mosaicist Inc., Ray Carell. Ray, so before the break, we have talked about all of the beautiful mosaic work that you've created for swimming pools and just other areas throughout the outdoor spaces. But another great way for mosaic to be displayed as art in a home really is on the floor or walls of a bathroom, right? 100%. We do a lot of pools, but once in a while, we grab our special uh, preferred clients and our projects and we apply things like this, like we got this 1926 home here and we designed a Spanish design that we took out of old world tiles. I love that. So what you did here is we talked about with the pool is you play to the architecture, pull out things that have of that, that era, just special details. Now, I want to go in and take a, a closer look so we can see all yeah. the detail of the beautiful tiles. Let's so. go. I want to show you the corners. 
What we did here is the formula that we were talking about earlier, which we got how big the actual pieces of mosaic were gonna be and how many pieces were gonna be cut, how many times it took to cut the piece to then fit the design to fit the same area space. Well, I love it. And I, I also, one thing that's really, I wanna point out to our viewers is the way this border is very continuous around the room. It's almost like, uh, like a beautiful bordered area rug mm -hmm. per se. The pattern is perfectly made for this room. Yeah, exactly. You have a good eye. So I, uh, I do work in design. Of course you do. <laughs> the actual border has no 45 degree cuts. The border is continuously all the way around. So yes. we designed the actual entire rug per se to fit the actual walls of the bathroom and also fit this corner as well. The grout color is very important part of the design as much as the color of the tile. So in here it's sort of, I think, really allows the, especially the pieces that are darker to pop by going with this sort of lighter grout color. That's a very, very good detail. Again, you have a great eye. We went with a actual medium gray grout. And the reason why is because it's practical. Because right. the grout usually gets stained and sometimes gets dirty. Exactly. Yeah, so white grout isn't gonna... Exactly. That way if it gets stained or it doesn't yellow or it keeps a medium color and therefore it's easy to clean. Yeah, that's a really good tip because going with that tonality on any floor, especially in a bathroom that's yeah. used frequently on a daily basis, I absolutely love seeing the way this mosaic has brought this bathroom to a whole another look and just another level of beauty. But we're going to talk about the way mosaic can enhance other areas of the home, so stay with us for more. Next, we look at more ways to enhance your home decor with mosaic art on Soplo Home Project. back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we are here with Ray Corral, the founder of Mosaicist Inc. Ray, we have seen so many great things, mm -hmm. a lot of your beautiful work. And I know you primarily do a lot of swimming pools with mm -hmm. the mosaic design in there. We've also seen it in bathrooms. I mean, it's amazing on flooring or in a shower, but there are other areas of the home where mosaic can truly make an impact as art on your walls, per yeah. se. Mm -hmm. well, we also get a, a commission to do accent walls, like you mentioned. We do a lot of bathroom floors. We do a lot of city murals. Those are a, lots of fun, and to actually install them is very challenging. But even pieces like this as well, uh, this is not specifically mosaics. Really But beautiful. this is actually a, a artwork called Pietra Lude, which we also are involved with as well. Everything you see here is an actual stone, a different color stone. Wow, and, uh, I recognize this, some beautiful marbles in mm -hmm, there. That's and right. This is all hand done. Yeah, this is all hand done. We also are involved with this type of artwork as well. Wow, gorgeous, yeah. absolutely gorgeous. We think about the misconception, maybe tiles only for a pool, only for a shower, only for a bathroom floor. It can go anywhere in your home, including some sort of work on furnishings. Yeah. When people use mosaics, and the reason why they're so um, versatile and they're actually um, great for outdoor applications is the colors all the way, goes all the way through, it never fades. And uh, if any ever gets stained or spray painted or something, you can always uh, clean them. And uh, they're very durable, especially for outdoor applications where they're, they're uh, the UV, the sun is hitting them. And like you talk about the insulation, we say, is just as important as the beauty of the tile itself. 100%. Because they say properly installed tile can last a lifetime. And it really holds up so well. We see stuff from ancient times mm -hmm. still installed to this day. Yeah, back then you wonder why so many installations are, have last hundreds and hundreds the of years. The craftsmen and, and yeah, artists. And, and that's it, that we, we are a company that uh, um, beholds the entire process and this is what makes our colors, our mosaic murals, our applications last a lifetime. Well, Ray, I wanna thank you for sharing just a peek into all of the beauty of your work and the process of creating custom mosaic for all areas of the home. Okay, Elena, thank you for having me. And now let's take a look at what design inspiration we have planned for you next week on SoFlo Home Project. We look at bridging the design gap for couples with opposite taste as we tour a beautiful home with a sophisticated, eclectic style. And before we go, let's check in with Hunter Frankie, the host of SoFlo Health, and see what he's up to tomorrow. Hunter, what's going on? Hey there, Elena. Tomorrow on SoFlo Health, we are in City Place Doral, a location full of plenty of places to eat and entertain yourself. Plus, we also have important pool safety information that you won't want to miss, courtesy of Florida Health. 
Then we make our way over to a Uruguayan restaurant that's serving up healthy dishes for the summer. It's all right here on SoFlo Health tomorrow at 12.30 p.m. on the one and only Local 10. Thanks, Hunter. That sounds great. We'll definitely be watching. And to our viewers, we thank you for joining us this week. And we hope to see you again next week for another all-new episode of SoFlo Home Project right here on Local 10. And remember, there's no place like SoFlo Home. If you missed any part of this episode, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloShows.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook and Instagram 